Hello everyone, my name is Kesa Thea and um, I'm going to be talking to you about the photo and video editing with brand marketing course under the FH Moms Academy today. Um, as you can see, I did I actually created a presentation, but I'm not going to um, download this yet, but I'm going to show you inside um, the interface of one of the new design um, platforms that I'm using to create my designs lately. So if you are following my KT Paper Designs Facebook page or Instagram, you might have heard about th this new tool already that is called Easel. It's an Australian company and uh, I'm managing the Facebook group right now. Um, it's the only group here in the Philippines so far for this platform because uh, it, it actually has been around uh, for a couple of years or so, but it hasn't picked up um, it, be, because there's another um, platform that's very famous and that actually a household name already but anyway um i'm gonna talk more about that later if we have time if we don't have um i'm gonna make sure that i'll include that in the september batch of the course so yes i'm going to make a bonus um lesson discussing about this new platform on top of the other um, topics that's included in the course outline. So there you go. Um, let's go ahead and get started with the trainer background. Um, again, my name is Kessa Thea Nielsen. I'm married. Uh, I'm married to a Danish um, citizen. That's why I have a foreigner sounding last name. I'm not a foreigner myself. <laughs> All right. I'm a mother to a three-year-old um, little girl. Her name is Victoria Summer. Um, you can call me Kessa, they are Katie, whatever you prefer. I'm a work at home mom. I'm a self-taught graphic designer. Um, I post my portfolio in a Wix website. I'm going to give that to you if you need um, to look at it. And I also post on my Instagram and Facebook page and you can just search for KT Paper Designs if you're curious. I'm working as a social media manager right now. I have a few um, clients and of course I'm an online trainer. I'm, I actually um taken the role of an online trainer and i started in july and this month september is going to be the third batch already so if you're watching this in september um and you're wondering yes if you will enroll then you will be part of the third batch and if you are watching this october november or december then you know what batch you are already <laughs> all right so um I am a lifestyle and travel and wedding blogger, so I have different brands. Um, and I actually also have a shopping blog, but I haven't really updated that in quite a while. Um, my main blog, which is littlemisskesa.com, I haven't blogged the, about um, anything as of late, but I'm going to um, try to find some time to resurrect the blog again. Um, I'm trying to um revamp that and um, i think i'm gonna make more tutorials so that i can impart more knowledge to the people around me or to the the, the people who have been following the blog for some time now so naturally i'm gonna change my niche uh, from being a lifestyle blog to being a creative kind of blog so there i'm an esl enthusiast so this is what the interface that you are looking at right now. If you are curious to know about that, please message me and I can explain what the ESOL platform is. Or you can also join our group. Just look for ESOL Enthusiasts PH and um, I'll, we will welcome you with open arms. I'm acting as the administrator of the group together with my friend, Ana Carmina Torres. So I am an insatiable wanderer, but I'm never a light packer. Um, even if it's just an overnight trip, I'm going to take one or two bags with me. I don't know. 
um but i've i've improved quite a bit um so that that's something that i need to work on i think <laughs> totally not related to graphic designing but i i feel like i wanted to share that with you just in case i can get some tips from you why not right so i love romantic comedy movies i i love cooking shows because i'm a frustrated chef um I love cooking a lot. I like baking as well, and I love reality TV. Um, I have a little secret. I don't know if you find this weird, but I enjoy apple with salt. <laughs> I like long walks, and I like gardening. So there. So that's. Uh, I think um, I'm going to mention as well that I have a degree in Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, and I have a Master's in Business Administration. Um, I, I have an account on Upwork and online jobs, but I haven't really applied for any jobs for the longest time already. I am I just don't have the time right now because my hands are full. So there, I'm dedicating myself to teaching and imparting my skills and knowledge. And I want you to know that if, if ever you visit any of my um, pages or my Instagram feed or my Facebook um, account. I'm not here to impress you. I'm here to inspire. All right. So let's move on to the next part of this video. Um, what is graphic design? You you might have, of course, encountered this already or maybe you are interested in getting into this niche so what is it all about so it's the art and practice of planning and projecting ideas and experiences with visual and textual content so that means um ang graphic design po hindi lang siya pictures hindi lang siya cartoons hindi lang siya ganyan pwedeng may kasamang words may kasamang mga drawing may kasamang mga of course, animation, ganyan. So, according to the Professional Association for Design, ito yung ibig sabihin ng graphic design. Okay? So, I, yun pala. If you have any questions about my talk today or tonight, whatever time you're watching, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. I'm gonna make sure that I will answer your questions if you do so. So, ayon. So, punta tayo sa video editing. So, what is video editing? It's the process of manipulating and rearranging video shots to create a new work. So, um, ibig sabihin, kapag kahalimbawa may kinunan kang video, tapos um, in-upload mo siya, nang ganun lang, wala kang ginawang iba, in-upload, kinunan mo yung, yung video, in-upload mo siya, hindi pa matatawag na video editing yan kasi wala kang change na nilagay doon sa video or wala kang change na ginawa sa video bago mo siya in-upload. So, editing is usually considered to be one part of the post-production process. So, ano siya, ginagawa sa huli. So, kumbaga, madaming shots na ginagawa tapos pinagsama-sama yung mga video clips tapos ini-edit, nilalagyan ng um, overlays na mga picture siguro or nilalagyan ng background music or iniba yung yung bilis nung nung video clip like pag ginagawang ano um fast forward yung mga ganun or may mga um back to the uh, previous days ang tawag dyan, um i forgot the exact term i think it's called flashback ayon so may mga flashback ganun so other post production tasks include titling yung paglalagay ng mga subtitle paglalagay ng main title ng video color correction paglalagay ng mga filter paglalagay ng mga um, sound ano um, pag naglalagay ka ng mga glitch effects yung ganon and of course sa mixing at maraming marami pang iba matututunan niyo yan sa course natin um Tutulungan ako ni Mami MK, siya yung magdi-discuss ng Filmora, at ako naman yung magdi-discuss ng about sa iMovie. So, halimbawa ngayon, meron kayong iPhones, um, pwede nyo nang magamit yan sa pag-edit ng videos. Um, kahit yung app lang na naka-install na sa iPhone, pwede na yan pang-edit ng video. Pero kung professional looking videos yung gusto niyo of course, may ibang available na tools na pwedeng gamitin.
Ayun. So, let's go naman to brand marketing. Kasi yung course natin, it's not just photo and video editing. Meron din tayong brand marketing. Kasi, in demand ngayon yung mga social media managers. Um, kasi, di ba, ang dami ng business and they rely so much on social media. So, of course, kung ikaw may-ari ng business, mag-hire ka pa ba ng, ng iba na aside from the social media manager? Like, you hire and pay a social media manager plus you hire a graphic designer as well. So, of course, you want a social media manager na mending alam about graphic design para ano, makakatipid ka as the brand. Alright? So, what is brand marketing? It's a theory and tactics to make a strong brand. The theory of brand marketing, spending on marketing is an investment in building a brand's value. And in turn, of course, the company's value. That investment-based strategy makes brand marketing different than other marketing strategies, such as direct response marketing. So yung direct response marketing, yung harapan, face-to-face. Ayan. So ngayon, the trend is um, to market your portfolio to market your product through the internet. So, kaya kailan ng brand marketing para merong ano, brand recall or mare-remember ka ng target market mo. So, sa course natin, kung sakaling mag-enroll kayo, uh, pag-uusapan natin ng brand marketing, pag-uusapan natin kung paano ninyo ma-develop ang inyong sariling brand at kung paano kayo uh, mag-price ng mga product ninyo yung magawa ninyo. So, what are the skills required naman para sa isang graphic designer? So, kung graphic designer ka, dapat curious ka. Hindi ka lang um, basta-basta nakukontento kung ano na yung nakikita mo, kung ano yung, kung nandiyan sa harap mo. So, you have to know what... You have to research, you have to know where to find graphic design elements, you have to know the the current, ano, yung mga uso. Like, di ba ngayon, usong-uso sa video editing, yung mga parang vlog style, ganyan. Yung travel vlogs, lifestyle vlogs. So, you have to know those. Hindi pwedeng nahuhuli ka, dapat sunod ka sa uso parate kung graphic designer ka. Kasi, syempre, di ba, alam naman ngayon, ang uso yung mga ano na, mga calligraphy fonts, ganyan. Pero old school ka, so iba yung alam mo, mga old type of fonts pa na hindi na masyadong appealing, lalo na sa mga target market ng brand na ginagawa mo. So, you have to know, you have to be curious, you have to ask around, you have to learn where to search and what to search para magawa mo yung projects na kailangan mong tapusin. So, aside from being curious, of course, you have to be passionate and driven. So, you must love the things na ginagawa mo as a graphic designer. Kasi kung hindi mo love yung ginagawa mo, I don't think makakagawa ka ng magagandang output. So, um, your love for the things that you do actually... Um, is tr- is transcending into your output. So, kumbaga, nagre-reflect yung love mo sa trabaho mo, sa ginagawa mo, sa final project mo. So, um, the third one is openness, or you have to be open. Um, you have to be open-minded. You have to be willing to try new things, like I mentioned earlier sa curious part. And you have to also be comfortable taking advice. So, magkakaroon at magkakaroon ng solicited and unsolicited advice. So, you have to be ready and you have to be open for that. Kasi, of course, di ba, pag graphic design, meron kang output, meron tangible um, results yung ginagawa mo. So, may nakikita. Kung baga, um, uh, say for example, ano ba ang trabaho ng example natin? Um, doktor. Di ba yung doktor expected na mapapagaling niya yung pasyente niya? So, yun yung um, parang measurement ng kanyang kakayahan. Sa graphic design, yung measurement ng kakayahan mo, kung how you create um, the material and, of course, your final output na. Ayun. So, the next um, skill is you have to be able to handle critics. So, hindi lahat mapiplease mo. So, <laughs> yes, kahit na ano pa, kung may, may kasabihan nga tayo na ano eh, um, 
kahit ikaw pa yung pinaka juiciest and pinaka masarap na peach or sabihin na lang natin apple para mas com- common para mas makarelate tayong lahat kahit ikaw na yung pinaka masarap na apple meron at merong taong hindi gusto ang apple kaya wag mong itatry or wag mong i- wag mong i-goal na dapat lahat kailangan magustuhan yung gawa mo kasi kahit sobrang ganda ganda nung gawa mo um, hindi mo lahat mapiplease so ikaw lang yung masasaktan so you have to be able to handle your critics, you have to be good at taking criticism and make sure that that criticism can improve your work so um, take it uh, like a grain of salt um i-absorb mo kung ano yung pwedeng makatulong sa'yo, kung it's something that's bothering you or something na below the belt, yung attacks, just chalk it up and huwag mo nang pansinin. Don't let it get into you and don't let the negativity affect your work and the quality of your work. Kumbaga, take it as a challenge and pagbutihan mo yung next na project mo para yung person na Um, nagbigay sa'yo ng masakit na criticism, kung nasaktan ka man, hindi na mauulit. Um, but of course, again, do not make it your goal na ma-please lahat kasi hindi mangyayari yon. So, ayun. So, the next one, you have to be very patient. It takes patience to let an idea develop. So, hindi siya parang isang ano lang, isang kisap mata, ayan na yung design. Yung design, pinagpaplanuhan, um, iniisip ng mabuti kung paano siya i-resolve. Um, iniisip ng mabuti kung anong colors yung gagamitin. Iniisip ng mabuti kung anong fonts yung kailangan gamitin. So, the design process can be very slow and sometimes you spend a lot of time to finish one project. So, you have to make sure that you are patient para magtagal ka sa niche na ito. Kung wala kang patience, um, malamang you can last for some time pero hindi ka magtatagal kasi kailangan mo talagang maging patient um, all throughout your career. <laughs> of course naman, may exemptions. Minsan, um, you will lose your patience pero of course, um, ang expected talaga is you have to be patient. And um, the other skill that is required is you have to be very hungry for knowledge. So like the curiosity part kanina, dapat um, if you are hungry for knowledge, um, nobody knows it all kasi. So uh, like like me, I don't know everything kahit mga two years na ako nag-graphic design. But what I do is I research, I keep myself updated, I read kung ano na yung mga nangyayari sa world ng graphic design. So, um, I, I grabbed the opportunity for every opportunity na dumadating for me to be able to learn para naman hindi ako nahuhuli kung ano na yung um, uso, kung ano na yung patok sa mga kliyente. Ayun. So, um, like you, di ba? Um, nag-attend kayo ng cool program. So, Um, if iniisip nyo, ano bang next na step ko dito? So, if you have a creative bone in your body, kahit na maliit, you have to nurture that. Um, try it out. Um, maybe graphic design is for you, maybe graphic design is not for you, but of course, the additional learning that you get is will be priceless. And um, knowing this, kahit na actually hindi ka guma- kumuha ng mga kliyente, pwede mong gamitin yung natutunan mo just for your own personal use or pwede sa family mo or para sa friends mo. Halimbawa, you would volunteer to create invitations, ganyan. So, um, the next um, thing that I would mention to you is you actually don't need to be good at drawing. Um, you need to have a keen eye for detail though and a genuine love in creating beautiful things. So, um, kapag ka nakikisunod ka lang sa uso na, ay, si ganito, nag umatend ng training kasi gusto niyang maging social media manager isang araw, attend na din ako, kahit na hindi ka interesado, wala lang, napilitan ka lang. Hindi genuine yung love mo sa niche na to. Um, I'm not sure if you are going to prosper, if you are going to be successful, but um, 
maybe maybe not so um with with the course outline that we are going to be sharing with you i hope maliwanagan kayo and sure talaga na ito yung kukunin yung niche and ito yung path na tatahakin nyo after nung matutunan nyo yung maituturo ni Mami MK sa cool program. So, ayun. Ano nga ba talaga next topic natin? Uh, ano ba yung mga common tasks ng graphic designer? So, yung mga graphic designer, ang daming ginagawa. Yung iba, nakafocus lang sa logos. Yung iba, sa invitations. Yung iba, t-shirt yung dinidesign. Yung mga nakikita sa harap ng t-shirt or sa likod. Um, yung iba, layout artist. Yung iba naman, social media management. So, naging social media manager sila. Yung iba, infographic designer. Dito ako nag-start sa infographic designer after kong umattend ng cool program. Um, nagkaroon ako agad ng client. Um, gumawa ako ng 20 na infographic para sa isang website, sa isang blog na about keto diet. <laughs> Ayun. So, um, may iba label designer, may iba naman print at designer. So, all of this, I've tried na except the t-shirt design. Um, I'm not sure, eh, hindi kasi ako interesado. I'm, I'm not sure why. Um, I'm, I just don't have the time to explore this as well right now. Pero yung iba, lahat dito na try ko na. So, sa graphic design, lahat ng pwedeng i-design pwede mong magawa. So, the possibilities are endless. And, hindi lang ito yung tasks ng graphic designer. Maraming madami pang iba. So, yung yung mga, ano, yung nakikita nyo sa harap ng mga tindahan, yun, graphic designer may gawa nun, or layout artist. May, ano pa ba, yung mga advertisement, yung mga flyer, brochure, yung mga ganyan. So, graphic designer din po yung gumagawa ng mga ganyan. So, punta tayo naman sa ano, salary rate. Actually, you can set your own price depending on your skill set. So, um, and also on how you value your creative abilities. You also have to factor in your overhead expenses when you set your price. Um, maganda to, itong second statement na to, kapag yung package ang nakuha mo or yung kinuha ng client mo sa'yo. Um, on average, you could get at least 50000 to unlimited depending on how much you allot for your work, how much time you allot for your work. Um, pag masipag ka, actually, mabilis lang gumawa ng logo pag sanay ka na. Sa start lang talaga yung mahirap. Um, kapag ka gamay mo na yung tool na ginagamit mo, kahit nakapikit ka minsan, pwede ka nang gumawa ng project. So, I think ang pinakamabilis ko ng paggawa ng logo, nasa 5 minutes lang. But of course, hindi ko naman binalik ka agad sa client ko na, hey, tapos na 5 minutes. I make sure na ano, parang easy ng client na worth it yung ibabayad niya sa akin. So, syempre, nagbibigay ako ng ano, timeline. Like, say, pinakamabilis na, kunyari, 24 to 48 hours. So, kahit natapos ko siya ng within 5 minutes, hindi ko kagad siya isi-send kay client kasi may time expectation akong binigay. Um, with that, um, may isip ng client na, we may effort. So, yun. Um, iisipin na lang na super worth it yung ibinayad nila sa'yo. So, you will earn more when you do freelance work than if you are employed by an ad agency or if you are paid per hour. So, um, kasi kapag ka freelance work, may ano ka eh, may option ka to increase your price anytime. Samantalang kung employed ka, of course, maghihintay ka pa ng salary increase, yung mga ganyan. So, ang um, matututunan nyo kung, may, may tip pa ako, may advice ako sa course, kapag ka nag-enroll na kayo, sa pricing na topic natin, uh, meron akong tip doon na kung kailan ka dapat mag-raise ng price mo. So, exciting yung yung ano na yun, na topic na yun. So, ayun. So, when will I get my payment naman? Hindi ka na ginawa ng slide kasi um, depende kasi siya sa ano, sa kung anong platform. Um, and also, it depends on your agreement with your client. So, walang fix talaga. Um, if outside platforms, ako, since most of my clients na kukuha ko uh, through social media or through word of mouth or yung 
um, na-recommend ng clients ko before, ganyan. I require 50% down payment bago ako magsimulang gumawa ng project. Um, tapos, yung um, another 50% naman bago ako mag-send nung final output na. So, yung 50% na yun, um, non-refundable kung sakaling magbago yung isip ni client. So, ayun. Pero I make sure na ano, may acknowledgement ni client and pumayag si client sa setup na yun bago ako magsisimula ng work. Um, where can I apply? Halimbawa, gusto nyo maging graphic designer, saan kayo mag apply for, tra- uh, for jobs? Um, you can look for jobs um, through job platforms like Upwork and online jobs, like I mentioned earlier. And you can also get clients when they contact you after seeing your portfolio. So, maganda talaga na if you are a graphic designer, meron kang portfolio na ready na pwede mong ipakita aside from your resume and your cover letter. Magkakasama yung tatlong yon kung graphic designer kayo. So, ano yung mga ano, um, online apps, tools, um, software na kailangan? Um, ito yung mga ginagamit ko so far. Photoshop, Illustrator, Spark. Um, Premiere Pro, hindi masyado kasi sa iMovie ako. Nakalimutan ko ilagay, pero sige, ilagay natin. Ay, may purpose kung bakit hindi ko ginawang presentation. At least, may edit natin kagad <laughs> real time. Ayun. Um, ito nga, SL yung favorite ko ngayon. Um, I also use Canva. I've been using this for, I think, um, two years na nung una kong ginawa yung account ko. Pero, hindi ako masyadong nag-focus kasi hindi naman ako um, nag-focus sa graphic design early on. Um, and then, GIMP. I don't know kung tama yung pagka-pronounce ko, pero... Jim, Gimp, Pixlr, um, sa video editing naman, Filmora, Ofeo, Powtoon, um, YouTube. Yes, pwede kayo mag-edit ng video ninyo sa YouTube, i-upload nyo lang. Um, of course, iMovie kapag may iPhone ka or kapag Mac yung gamit mo na computer. Um, di mo na kailangan bilhin yun, free yung iMovie. Um, eh, sa phone, yung app version. Um, at saka sa desktop, or sa laptop, I mean. Um, if you want na more advanced editing tools, pwede din Final Cut Pro. Narinig nyo na to. Meron ako nito dati, kaya lang namahalan ako ng, ano, ng bayad, so hindi na ako nag-renew. Um, and then, of course, social media accounts, kailangan mo din para ma-showcase mo yung work mo. Um, depende yan sa target market mo. Pag yung target market mo um, mahilig sa Instagram, mahilig sa photos, ma- uh, mahilig sa brand aesthetics, sa colors, ganyan. Instagram maganda, yung mga photography, ganyan. Pero kapag uh, generic, kahit sino may access, Facebook talaga. Ayun, but mas maganda kung pagsamahin mo yung dalawang yun. Kasi yun yung famous sa Philippines. Kung gusto mong ang uh, mga kliyente mo nasa Philippines lang. Kapag ka naman sa US, um, okay din mag-advertise using Pinterest. Ayun, so, um, let me just um, share with you now kung ano yung course outline natin. So, bale, ang mangyayari is, um, eh, and this happened also in the past two uh, batches, Yung plan ko lang talaga is 5 days and yun yung required for the course and that's what you paid for. Pero ayokong magkaroon ng ano information overload. Kaya ang ginawa ko, hiniwalay, hiwalay ko lahat ng topics and sa lahat ng topics na i-discuss ko, it would take about 2 weeks. <laughs> kasama na yung paggawa ninyo ng mga project. So, yun na yung pinaka ano, pinaka uh, ano bang term? Yun na yung pinaka productive siguro in a day for this training na mangyayari. Na may time pa kayong mag-practice or may time pa yung i-apply yung mga narinig nyo or natutunan nyo sa video. So, by the way, yung ano pala, 
course natin, if you decide to enroll, is a mix of um, Facebook Live sessions at, of course, recorded videos. But lahat yun, you can replay anytime um, because you will have lifetime access um, sa training. So, so, usually, yung introduction ng trainer, yung parang ganito, yung, yung ginagawa ko ngayon, I do that using Facebook Live, and I do that outside of the weekly course topics. Para, ano, we, we get it, ano na, we get it done, and then, pura na lang about Photoshop, about yung video editing tools, and about brand marketing. So, I will be discussing... Um, graphic design element sources. So, yung mga favorite sources ko. Tapos, kung ano pa yung pwede nyo gamitin. Actually, kasi hindi mo naman kailangan gamitin lahat-lahat. Maghahanap ka lang ng isa o dalawa o tatlong um, graphic design source na pwede mong gamitin or na pwede mong pagkuhanan ng mga gagamitin mo sa mga design mo. And pwede na. Pwede ka nang gumawa um, ng magagandang output. Hindi mo, ah, ano lang, the importance lang na alam mo yung ibang mga website para halimbawa may kliyente ka na nagpagawa ng isang project na hindi mo mahahanap dun sa platforms na ginagamit mo na or pinagkukuhanan mo na mga graphic design elements. So, of course, alam mo kung saan ka pupunta. So, part na yan sa pagiging ano, hungry for knowledge. So, I'll be sharing with you free and premium um which are paid sources for um graphic design elements um and then i'm also gonna be sharing with you personal use versus commercial use of graphic design elements at kung ano yung mga licenses na involved kasi um hindi tayo dapat tayo basta-basta kumukuha ng gawa ng iba online hindi dapat tayo nag-google lang ng mga picture tapos yun yung ilalagay natin sa mga projects na ginagawa natin para sa mga kliyente natin kasi pwede tayong ma-demanda pag ginawa natin yan. Alam ko, very common yan sa mga nagsa-start pa lang sa graphic design pero as early as now, mag-enroll man kayo o hindi sa course na ino-offer ko under the FH Moms Academy, um, I, I would like to discourage you and I would like to ask you to please stop I'm using kung ano man yung nakikita nyo lang sa Google Images, okay? Kasi magkakaroon kayo ng problema in the future. And plus because it's really unfair to just steal somebody's work um, for your own benefit. Ayun, so um, ano pa ba? Um, for also, we will be discussing about working with images, uh, about opening and creating a document. We will be discussing the... Um, Adobe Photoshop user interface and the workspace. Um, also, keyboard shortcuts para mas mapadali yung trabaho mo if you're using Mac or Windows. Um, image size and resolution. Pag-uusapan natin yung PPI and DPI, kung ano yun. I'll also be teaching about cropping images, about color mode, um, RGB and CMYK. Kasi iba yung color mode ng nakikita mo lang um, dito sa harap ng screen mo and iba din dapat yung color mode ng piniprint na mga, nang kailangan i-print like for flyers, brochures, business cards, invitation. So, dapat may sarili siyang file mode. Um, and then, we will also be talking about layers kasi sa Photoshop may layers. Di, kaya, kaya mahal na mahal ko ngayon tong SL kasi Meron siyang layers. Papakita ko sa inyo, ha. Here is the layers icon. Ayun. So, may layer siyang ganyan. So, kaya, mas mahal ko, mas mahal ko na siya ngayon kesa sa Canva because of this. Um, ano pa ba? Layer opacity and blending. Pag-uusapan din natin. Um, um, then, image color adjustments, kung ano, i-adjust natin yung hue, saturation, um, and we will also be um, discussing about transformation of images, yung palalakihin natin yung mga shapes, paliliitin, and we will also be talking about backgrounds and patterns, working with text, line, character spacing. Uh, when we say text, that means yung font. 
And then time mag maggagawa din tayo ng ano animation using Photoshop. So it's really possible. Um, and then we will also um, be discussing about content aware and layer masking. Um, I will also be sharing with you Adobe Type Kit. Um, alam ko hindi yan masyadong ginagamit ngayon. Um, kahit na available pala siya. Um, libre siya sa may mga creative cloud account. So, um, i-discuss ko yan or i-lead ko kayo on how you can download and install the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop sa computer ninyo kapag nag-enroll kayo sa course. And then, we will all, I will also be sharing with you how to edit a photo using another photo. So, possible yun sa Photoshop. And then, mock-up files. Uh, mag-uusap din tayo about that kung paano siya gamitin sa pag-display or sa pag-post ng mga final products ninyo. And then, um, wait lang ha, papatayin ko lang tong phone. Ayun, so, and then we will also be discussing about the brush tool and of course, Filmora and then yung iMovie. Yung Filmora, um, care of Mami MK yon Tapos yung iMovie naman sa akin. Bale, nasa at least two videos yung ipapakita ko sa inyo on how to create or how to edit videos using iMovie. So, we will be discussing transitions, cutting clips, adding background music, ganon. And then, um, I, we will also be adding overlays to movie saving and uploading edited video, sources of background music, yon, and of course, licenses. Basta anything na dinadownload sa internet, dapat may license yan bago gamitin. Kasi kung walang license, ibig sabihin hindi yan legit or ninakaw lang. And also, file converters. Um, kapag nag, kumuha ka ng yung mga free, no copyright music sa YouTube, pwede mong i-download yun and pwede mong i-convert para maging um, MP4 or MP3. MP3 pala. MP3 music um, document. And then, we will discuss brand marketing. So, we, we will be talking about branding and marketing, pricing, tapos... I'm gonna share with you yung uh, portfolio ko, yung mga, uh, some of my clients, isushow ko sa inyo para makita nyo kung ano yung ginagawa as a social media manager. Um, and then, sa project creation naman, pag-uusapan natin kung paano gumawa ng logo, business card, social cards, invitation. So, basically, it's not gonna be step by step na sa logo or sa brand palette or sa mga invitation. Ganyan, kasi i-apply nyo na lang yung mga diniscuss na topics. So, yun. Ano pa ba? Um, I will be giving, it's gonna be a two weeks na jump pack na course. And ibibigay ko sa inyo yung freebies kapag ka nag-enroll kayo as early birds. Aside from the discount na ibibigay sa inyo. Like, I think the regular payment is 2000 I'm, I'm not sure right now kasi I think magbabago ng pricing kapag nanggaling na kayo sa cool, cool program. Ayun. And then, final projects for your portfolio, of course. So, that's for your own benefit kasi um, lahat ng projects na gagawin natin kapag you feel na it's ready for you to display it to the world, then you can include that in your portfolio. And of course, um, support from your trainer. I call it Golden Glove kasi kahit late in the night, I'm going to respond kung kailangan nyo ng tulong ko. Um, what else do I need to share with you? Um, yes, oh, may mga bonus uh, lessons din tayo. So, tuturuan ko kayong paano gumawa ng patterns. Tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gumawa ng color palette using Photoshop, using uh, at different softwares. Tapos, ayun, mag-share din pala ako about Trello. And I'm gonna be introducing to you it, sa inyo itong Isel. Um, and then, bonus, um, yung Trello, if you know that already, then well and good. Kung hindi pa, um, it's actually a productivity tool that it, it, it will actually help you um, manage your time better and manage the things or your tasks para mas magawa mo sila on time and wala kang makalimutan. 
Um, I'm very open to feedback, so I value my students' feedback as well, so you can approach me anytime. And the live session schedule will actually depend sa common time ng class. So, ayun, always ako magtatanong sa common availabil availability ng mga mag enroll before ako mag-schedule ng live session. So, you can watch the videos over and over again because it can be replayed. And course objectives, um, makita nyo yan sa brochure. Please upload, I mean, download that para mabasa ninyo. And you can also read about the other courses that are being offered. So, if you have not decided to enroll yet, you can visit my FB page para makita ninyo yung output ko. And may mga uploaded videos din ako doon, so pwede nyo mapanood yon. And of course, simply browse some of my projects as well para mas maging acquainted kayo kung ano yung mga ginagawa ko. So, and if you want to enroll in a course that would benefit you and your family without looking or needing a client, then this course is for you. So, kung <laughs> um, ito yung course na kapag tinake mo, magkaroon ka man ng client o wala, may makukuha kang benefit kasi pwede mo siyang gamitin kahit para sa sarili mo lang. Halimbawa, gusto mo nang i-improve yung Instagram mo. So, of course, alam mo na marami ka nang alam about graphic design, then this course is for you. Um, if you start accepting clients naman, you can have unlimited number of clients kapag graphic design. Kung masipag ka, kung marunong ka mag-manage ng time mo, then marami kang magagawa. So, if you need to clarify anything, please don't be shy. Talk to me. Send me uh, a message, private message sa Facebook or um, direct message sa Instagram. So, um, ito pala, isha-share ko sa inyo. Sa US ngayon, um, ang graphic designer can earn up to, uh, at least pala, $25 per hour um, sa gawa. Pero uh, if you ask me, I'm not really going to recommend early um, jobs kapag uh, graphic design ka. But of course, choosy pa ba tayo? So, kung anong meron, go grab it just to get experience. Tapos kapag super experience ka na, then that's the time na pressure mo na ng malaki yung mga gawa mo. So, if you work fast, then you can earn more, of course, kapag early. Pero, um, ang mangyayari kasi, sa, based on my ano ha, observation, kapag early work kasi may demands yung client. So, make sure to, ano, kung, kung ano naman, kung in doubt kayo, you can share that with the other moms sa uh, FH Moms group or you ask Mommy MK or you can also ask me. So, there, by the way ha, um, don't expect na pagkatapos ng training, super expert ka na kaagad because you will not learn everything sa course, um, yun lang, yung nasa course outline, yun lang yung ituturo ko. So, you have to still do um, a lot of le legwork pagkatapos ng course natin. So, there's also a learning curve when you double in graphic design and video editing. So, again, do not expect to be a pro at the end of the course. And remember to learn the fundamentals and apply the techniques that you will learn or acquire during the training. So, ayun, um, ang dami kong sinabi, no? <laughs> so, if, if you have any questions, yun, please just go and ask. Um, I'm here to help you. I'm here to provide clarifications kapag may mga doubts pa in your mind. And if ever naman na gusto mo lang mag-observe kung ano yung mga ginagawa or gusto mo maging part ng community, you can also enroll. I, no, not enroll, but you can also join my wrong free group sa Facebook, um, online hub for photo and video editors and brand marketers. So, you can join that as well. Um, again, my name is Kesa Thea Nielsen and I'm here to help you out. I'm here to inspire you. I'm not here to impress you. <laughs> okay? So, ayun. Um, please approach me. I'm, I'll be here to help you out. Thank you so much for listening and uh, uh, I wish you well in your um, freelancing and your home-based jobs journey. Thank you. Bye-bye.